Good morning and welcome to the Alice Experimental Hall. It is located in uh, saint genis puy and it is known as Point 2. So this morning, as everybody else around the LHC, around the machine and around CERN, is expecting the first beams to be circulated in the machine. My name is Ali Lachizar Betev and I'm the member of, an Ali of the ALICE collaboration. I'm the member, more specifically, of the offline team of ALICE and uh, I'm responsible for the grid operations of uh, ALICE. Uh, all the detectors are in the so-called standby regime uh, because uh, once uh, the, the, during the injection interval there is a small risk that there is a little bit uh, higher background in the machine and of course we don't want to damage the detectors. So my name is uh, Patricia Mendez Lorenzo, I'm coming from Spain. I am physicist here working at CERN and a staff uh, member of CERN but I am working for the grid project inside the LCG environment and basically I am the LCG support of the ALICE experiment so that's why I'm here today because um, I was uh, curious to see how was the first day directly in the experiment that I am supporting. My name is Lars Leistam and I'm the technical coordinator of the ALICE experiment which is installed here at point two. The noise you hear in the background <laughs> is actually very interesting. Uh, the detectors, the instruments that we're using today are so sensitive and so delicate that uh, we have to keep a constant temperature in these large caverns. Um, my name is Peter Kokula. I work at CERN for ALICE control system. My task is uh, to develop the software systems and uh, for, for control, so it's an overall system design communication between the different projects. Point of view of control systems, we are now in a state uh, ready for, for the beam injection. So the detectors were brought, were brought to a safe state. We are ready to receive the beams. My name is Lena Jideen uh, and I'm responsible for the control system of ALICE. I've been here for 35 years okay. and I've been uh, taking part in the startup of the SPS first, then the lab and now the LHC. We are ready, we're just waiting for the LHC. We have practiced uh, several times and uh, it looks okay for us. I'm Dave Charlton and I'm uh, the one of the two physics coordinators of the ATLAS experiment. So I'm responsible for making sure that we cover uh, the various different sorts of physics analysis one can do with the data. So making sure we look at the events when we get the collision events and making sure that we really look in detail at all of the aspects of the events to seek to get the most possible from the physics from the events. At this moment, it's, it's, it's very exciting, I have to say. I mean, the, the, the beam was first put into the machine at 9.30, and already we have the beam around to uh, the Atlas experiment. This is really a tremendous performance, because with such a complex detector system, uh, such a complex accelerator system, we, are, uh, we don't know how long it will take for the beam to come all the way around to Atlas, and we are very pleasantly surprised that it's come around quite so quickly. Yes, there's a few champagne corks popping this morning, I think. Uh, yes, it's, it's, uh, for us, this is, uh, as I say, it's a really big first milestone towards uh, the physics. My name is Dario Barberis. Uh, I'm the computing coordinator of the Atlas experiment. So in this function I'm coordinating and arranging the work of about 200 people who develop the software and the computing environment for the Atlas experiment, so including the analysis environment and the grid. We had the first beam through Atlas. Uh, we have seen particles crossing our detectors. We've been able to record the events and there are event displays that you may have a look at. They are now already on the web. One more. One, two, three. Hooray! I'm uh, Yves Sirois. I'm a physicist of CMS. I'm um, actually uh, responsible for the CMS project in France. Today is a very, very exciting moment because that's a, that's a phase transition between uh, the construction, building and commissioning of the detector and also the, 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 the perspective for physics that we've done and now we're entering the, the, the real moment where we will see real events and real collision. The beam has gone through the old uh, ring uh, already. Yes, yes, yes. It was a big, great, great success and it went very, very smoothly. So it was a great success. I think that this is one of the most exciting kind of physics that we hope to, uh, to uh, find at the LHC. This is what is responsible for giving mass to particles, responsible for electroweak symmetry breaking, and that really is the element missing to understand 
the uh, existence and the structure of matter. My name is David Barney. I'm a physicist for the CMS detector. I have two main roles, in fact. I'm responsible for one of the, the inner parts of the detector called the pre-shower, and I'm also the outreach coordinator for CMS, so responsible for talking to members of the public and the press and so on. The objective this morning was to try and circulate the beam in one direction, starting near the, the main CERN site where we are now, going around via saint -Genis, which is locally, which is the ALICE detector, going on to CMS, further around to LHCB and then finally to ATLAS. And this morning, within an hour, they succeeded in doing this, which is pretty amazing, really. I mean, it's something we can't even believe. Now they're going to start going in the other direction, uh, because eventually we, of course, have to have two beams, one going in either direction, so we get collisions. If you like, to get the collisions is analogous to sending needles from either side of the Atlantic and getting them to collide halfway. So this is... Getting collisions is a little bit more difficult, but we expect to achieve that within the next month or so. One more. One, two, three.